Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fish Stuff and Things. In today's video I'm going to be redesigning my, I guess you could call it an aquascape in this tank. I'm going to be replanting the plants, cutting them, trimming them, doing all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be adding a, some bits of manzanita driftwood. And uh, if you saw the video in which I fed live mosquito larvae to this tank, you will have gotten a sneak peek of that manzanita wood. I might not finish this project tonight, and then I might continue the video later, so this might be the compilation of a couple days' work on this tank. It's kind of late as I'm filming this now, but actually first, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Basically, my problem with this tank is all of these floating plants. Look at how thick it is up here. It's, it's pretty crazy. All these, uh, this pennywort, has just grown these really thick mats and uh, if you look down here at the tank you can see it's kind of dark down there it actually looks better on camera than it does in person and I also don't have a screen top on the tank like I normally do which the screen top blocks a surprising amount of the light from this LED and um, when the screen top is on it's very dark back here so what I'm going to be doing is clearing this out changing some stuff up and uh, I'll see you when some of that's changed. I'll just give you an update. Alright everybody, it's the next day. I've removed all of the anacris from the plant from the from the plant. From the tank, and I've removed most of the penny warts. This is the one that's going to be staying in the tank for now. Basically the reason I'm gonna leave it in the tank is because if you look up here, it can act as a great it's kinda of bright actually, but it acts as an excellent hide for smaller fish. The bluegills love to hide in it, and I think if I got any other kind of fish, like, I don't know, minnows or something, like mosquito fish or more sunfish, they'd like to hide in it. See, that bluegill there is hiding near it, and he might run into it if the bass decides to chase him. Now it's about time that I start putting plants back into the tank, choosing what I want to keep, choosing what I want to get rid of, and also putting in some cool little pieces of driftwood. So I'll see you when all that's done. This is what the tank looks like before I put the anacaris in. I've got a few little sticks of driftwood over there, actually technically two. Um, and I moved the Anubius plant over there instead of in the right hand corner. Now it's over here, it gives a little more cover and helps to hide the heater which I will remove eventually. And uh, yeah. So now let's put the anacaris in. I will do some gravel vacuuming to get like that stuff. See the the dead leaves, I'll get that out of here before I put the anacaris in. And uh, once that's in, I will show you the tank. Alright, so I've waited a couple hours for the water to settle down and get really nice and clear. And this is the, the scape that I'm going with at the moment. It's like I said it's before, it's not much of an aquascape. It's basically just a box, a uh, glass box with some plants and fish in it. Um, but there is some, you know, there's some hardscape. We've got the little flower pots down here. There's a bluegill hanging out in the corner back there. And there's some uh, manzanita sticks in here. And uh, they're, they look really cool. And I actually kind of want some more. I'd like to have some kind of branch. Uh, is that the focus? Yeah. I'd like to have some kind of branch that kind of comes out from down here and sticks into the tank here because it looks really empty in this middle spot here where the bass is hanging out. I might put some rocks, like large flat rocks down here to get, to create some caves that fish can hide in and I think that's about it and I'll probably add some more plants or wood or something at some point. Maybe not more plants, I don't really think this tank needs them. This anacaris and the pennywort up here that you really can't see because it's so white and burned out. Those plants will grow super fast especially if I dose easy green a lot and uh, they grow really thick and dense and they're awesome plants. So anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.